JD here, Zero Limits, and as you can see, we are back on F1 2020 as always. And you can see this is WOR China, a race that I have not uploaded highlights on, and you'll be able to see why shortly. It's my qualifying went extremely, extremely well, but the start of the race, which you're about to see here, starting in P3, feeling incredibly good for the race. Uh, we get a pretty decent start actually, but then Perondi next to me gets an even better one. And going into turn one, we get some contact sandwich between a couple why, of cars. Why do people just do this? And we actually get damaged as a result of that. And yeah, if, if you could tell from my stream and at the time I was very, very unhappy. Uh, Perondi actually apologised to me after the race because you can see he actually overcooked it, went to the back of the Mercedes. But the thing is, you know... Even after apology, that doesn't change the result. And it actually came out of that race with zero points, which you should see on the standings now. So this championship has been very, very up and down for me. Either zero points or a podium each time. It's pretty much nothing in between at this point here. So yeah, had a podium Bahrain, podium Vietnam, and then got no points at China and Australia. So moving on to Zandvoort. Zandvoort is a track that I really do enjoy and I always tend to say that I don't feel that practiced coming into the Monday races but I actually felt pretty prepared for this one because I've already done quite a few social races around here. I think I've done two already and I just keep on getting faster and faster each time and I really do think it's probably one of my best tracks on the game here. You can see progressively getting faster in the session but you can see an 8-3 is still only P8, actually P9, as we start the fastest lap of my session here. So a setup I'm using here is quite different to the one I'm going to be using TSRL because there's always, always seem to find improvement. But you can actually see here, I'm actually going purposely slow because I'm actually just trying to burn off the fuel. So it goes slow in this lap because the tire wear is so, so low. I just decided to absolutely send it on this last lap. So now this is the beginning of my fastest lap in the qualifying session, going very, very deep into this corner, getting some pretty nice rotation. And then going into this right-hander, very, very unusual corner, as LVA Brown does an 8-0, so that is extremely fast. And you can see, an 8-3 is P9. That just shows you how competitive this grid really is. But going to this first sector, it hasn't gone particularly well. We're about almost at 10 down or just over half a tenth going to sector so a red sector one that's not really particularly optimal but going through here we make up the time already and just carrying so much more apex speed so losing it and then gaining a bit more time on the exit as well so about a half a tenth up going into sector three it says i've done a purple middle but again never really pay attention to that but this last sector was extremely good you can see we gained almost a tenth coming off this corner and going into the pulse at one and now into the last corner using a lot of the track so about a tenth tenth and a bit up on this lap here but it's not going to be good enough for pole but where is it going to be good enough it's actually p5 here and we actually did exactly the same time as jazu or shz crescito in p4 so the lap i was actually quite happy with um a point one if i did a better sector one then we could have been in the top three but I was actually pretty satisfied at that point. So starting in P5, a good position. And you, know, you can see by the times, this league, there is no messing about, especially in qualifying. Everyone is just extremely, extremely fast. And we've got Syrah and Jonas actually behind us as well. So really showing the caliber of this field. But we've got four lights, five lights here, waiting for it to go out. And as they do go out, I actually get a decent-ish start, but Syra gets an absolutely rocket launch start. He goes around the outside, actually sandwiched between two cars there, and I actually lose two positions. There was really nothing I could have done going into that corner. I pretty much had nowhere to go. So Syra has made up so many positions after that lightning start. It's just the traction he gets off the line is just incredible. And then Antoine has actually made up a position to me as well. So, yeah, not really too much I could do. Couldn't go to the left, couldn't go to the right. Had to stay there. And unless I wanted to come out of no front wing, 
I had to be patient in that scenario and luckily I did but you can see already really on the back of the racing points and going down the inside of the left hander he leaves me a lot of room but it's a very awkward corner to overtake and now this has put me on the back foot because I have to unnecessarily use this ERS which ERS around here is an absolute killer I think this is the only track that you well for me anyway because of the setup I'm running I can't save any, any ERS it's yeah if you try and make a committed overtake on someone and you don't pull it off then you're going to be extremely vulnerable because your ERS is just going to be so so low so running around in P7 right now and I described this track as actually being almost as hard as Monaco to overtake on it's just such a short straight there's so many corners everyone's running a very high downforce as well it's just very very difficult but someone does go into the pits i'm not sure who that was or well, t10 shadow has actually retired from this race because i think he did in fact have a jump start from p2 on the grid if i'm not mistaken so pretty annoying from him but that has promoted me back into p6 and you can just see at this moment in time it's kind of a slipstream train-esque around here it is so hard to overtake and you can see the ers is going down all the time whilst not really being able to save any and i am in the alfa romeo for all leagues now a lot of questions i get asked quite a lot that's because the alfa romeo actual team have requested me to be in this car because i'm um, the esports manager for that team and you can see we have our first virtual safety car and you can see the gap to antoine is about 3.1 seconds as Crescito has gone into the pit that's now given me another position so back into my original position of p5 and that's the virtual safety car is ending a lot of people will say to me oh you lose so much time but you you can actually see i've actually gained a second on antoine through the delta because Crescito was ahead of me so I've actually timed this safety car, the virtual safety car, very, very well. Normally I leave a little bit of time on the table, but on this occasion, I was actually pretty satisfied of how well I executed that. So, but the only bad thing about this is now I no, don't have any DRS and I was quite slow in a straight line and Pinecone's gonna have DRS on me. And although I feel I've got a bit more pace than the guys up ahead of me, I'm quite low in ERS and I'm going to be quite vulnerable to Pinecone because he was pretty quick in a straight line um, because I think a lot of people are running a bit more of a slippery car in a straight line that I was running. So coming towards the end of lap 8, you can see the gap is slowly coming down between myself, Syrah and Antoine up ahead but I'm having to use a little bit of the ERS just to make sure I stay ahead of Pinecone who is quickly closing in me, going a little bit wide out here now and yeah it, it's not a great position to be in i don't have anyone to tug me along and no i can't really save any ers anyway so i'm just trying the best i can to stay ahead of pinecone because one thing i haven't mentioned is that it's actually going to be raining towards the end of this race and i really wanted to stay ahead of him because in the wet it's going to be almost impossible to overtake even more. So I really wanted to stay ahead of him. And you can see we're really gaining on the guys up ahead now, especially through this midfield section. We really are gaining a lot of time here. But Pinecone is really starting to put me under some pressure. And yeah, I, I really didn't want him to get past because I wanted to make sure I was ahead of him before the rain. Because you know, if he got past me, then that would pretty much almost be it. And you can see the rain is starting to fall very very slowly now and you can see you know, progressively getting heavier and heavier he's got a very good exit coming off this corner now and he's very very fast fast and straight now. so i'm using all my ers i know i have to do this to defend i'm going down the inside he goes around the outside of me and now we're gonna go side by side going through into the turn one leaving him some room on the exit we do have a bit of a history going through this right hand again still leaving him a little bit of room leaving him some room on the outside i try and get the better traction using the overtake on the exit as well but just you can see how low i am on the ers and he is just faster in a straight line and fair play he gets the move done I quite like to do those moves on people, but now and again, you are on the receiving end. And, and I've said it before, me and Pinecon have a little history. Uh, we've been very, very aggressive with each other in the past, but as I've said before, I want to try and keep it patient and fair because on some occasions I've definitely gone over the limit and that was some very hard, fair racing. So no, full respect for him for doing that move. 
but continuing on towards the end of the stint is getting quite crit critical now because the tyres are coming towards the end of its life and some people have pitted, which you're seeing now, have pitted for the intermediate wet tyres. So now I'm actually P3 on track, Syra out ahead, Pinecone, JKB behind me on the mediums and I felt it was a little bit too early to go in the pits at this stage here. So I decided to continue and now I'm going to try and stay with Pinecone and Syra and we're going to go into the pit lane now shouldn't really get held by any traffic or anything by any sort going into here and it's got, hopefully it should be quite a clean pit stop not going to change any of my setups or anything at all we're going to put on the intermediate tyres now get a nice clean launch from the pit stop and you can see some people have overtaken me who's that that's Antoine who is coming past me now so the gap I'd say has come down ever so slightly but the thing that's really important is that the intermediates are not very durable in a race situation so we have the freshest intermediates and you know we have the least amount of risk to try and get to the end of the race because we can still have 21 laps of this race to go whilst on a set of intermediates that is quite a big ask but moving on to the next lap we've actually caught up to the train and i think syra has actually got out ahead of that train so he has done a fantastic job in this race so far as Pinecone and Anton got side by side almost losing the car here and it's getting a little bit feisty but the good thing is now is that I'm actually be able to save some ERS because in the wet conditions you are doing a lot more braking so you can actually harvest it much much more and no, I need to seize my opportunity because I felt like I had a lot more downforce than the people around me so in these conditions it should be very good but in the dry no, track position is actually absolutely key but in these conditions i might be able to actually do something but you can see by the straight line speed of pine cone there's nothing really i can do going down into this tunnel. he thinks about going down the outside again it goes out very very wide here so i'm going to try and put him under as much pressure as i possibly can not going to work on this occasion we do have bl or brl parondi who I had the incident with in china behind me we've got about a 2.6 second gap behind him but the fight for p2 is definitely on because lvr brown lva brown is leading this train and I, I certainly felt like i definitely had more pace than the people ahead of me in these conditions so right now you can see here this is me trying to be as close as i possibly can to so really gaining a lot of speed in the slow speed sections of this track but unless he gets a very bad exit it's going to be very very difficult and it's also very difficult for me to see at this point there's a lot of spray that is coming up here but you can see by the ERS deployment although we're using the overtake button we're not really losing any ERS per lap so we could be much more aggressive now however the thing that you do notice and this is something I get asked a lot is why do you have so much fuel in the car and the thing is no it's a risk if I under fueled by a lap and then it didn't rain then I'd be in a very bad position because you can't always rely on this weather system. And the reason why I put it in lean here is just to give me better traction. Um, if I put it in rich, then yeah, I'd be, I would be—I put it in rich on the straights, but if I put it in rich, I'd just burn out my tyres and that's something you definitely don't want to do. And you can't always predict when it is exactly going to rain because the weather forecast is not always accurate on the Codemasters game. <laughs> I can promise you that. So... No, I underfueled a bit, but you don't want to be taking too much of a risk. And this point here now in the race, there's nothing really I can do. You can just see there is this just, just big, big train headed by the Red Bull of LVA Brown. Then it's Sparks, then it's Antoine, Pinecone, and then myself. Unless anyone makes a big, big mistake, there really is nothing that you can do. So I've just got to try and sit tight, apply as much pressure as I possibly can and then just go for the move whenever the move is on. But moving towards the end of that 25 or middle of that 25, there's been another virtual safety car. So this is the second one that in the race so far. And you can see by the Delta, we were like half a second behind or something like that. And we're going to skip all the way to the end of it because yeah, it would just be pretty boring if we did that as my teammate leaves the session and who's gone into the pits. So I don't think anyone's gone into the pits and the gap, now leaving a reasonable gap just to make sure we don't get a penalty but we quickly close up 
once again and Perondi has actually started to close in because this pace who's been lead this train whoever's been led by is not particularly quick at this stage here and now myself and Pinecon have the freshest tires out of this group of drivers here so I think they're trying to look after it as we have another virtual safety car that is number three in this race so far so plenty of people having incidents to actually trigger this but we just got to try and keep focus and this is actually helping our tire life because you can see the tire indication warning has come on with four laps to go so that shows how much on the limit we are with these tires and just to think of sparks and brown they're going to be even more in the limit. They're actually going side by side almost going into the South Corner. So, you know, we know how desperate it is to try and overtake this. And now there's going to be a little bit of action, but again, just not quick enough in a straight line. Pinecon tries to go down the inside once again, like he did before on Crescito or another car, but it's not going to work on this occasion at all. And now we've got three laps to try and jockey for the remaining of these positions. But now onto the penultimate or the third to last lap of this race. Trying to be really, really aggressive for these corners. You know, get so much rotation in the slow speed. And I was just really trying to fill his mirrors and just try and get as many indicator warning arrows as possible on the screen. You can see he's a little bit unstable coming off here. But this is as this is as close as I can really get. I can't really get any closer than this. So going through the last sector. We do have, I think that's a lap car head, but it is Brown, Sparks, Pinecone, and myself. So we are in P5. That's my teammate's pitted, but I'm pretty sure he's already left the race. We get a pretty good exit coming off this corner here. And let's see what happens here. Sparks and McLaren, I don't know what is going on here. He's dived off into the pits because I think he had a puncture. And now Pinecone's defending. I'm going to break super, super late. I'm going to try and go for the cut back here, get the good traction, but it's not quite going to be enough and you can see my tire indicator warning is progressively getting darker into the red shade so it's now yellow to orange and now soon it will be red here so i saw this as an opportunity to try and pressure pinecone as much as i can i have plenty of fuel obviously because i've had to use lean for the traction and now i've got quite a bit of ers as well so i'm just trying to get as close as i possibly can to try and do a repeat of the move that he did to me it's going through these corners i feel particularly confident you can see we're gaining so much time on this apex here we're not going to be close enough to go down the inside here so taking a nice wide sweeping line double shifting into fourth gear to try and get the ultimate ultimate traction and again it's just not going to be close enough in these conditions it's just not going to be close enough but going into this last sector of the race itself being as close as i can losing a little bit of wheel spin through the dirty air and now going into the penultimate and then the final corner this is really probably going to be my last opportunity he's going to have a car up out ahead of him but we are not going to be close enough on this straight so i'm prepared to give it everything i can because we are in fourth place only one place off the podium position just to try and keep our run of successful podiums whenever we've been in the points we have got a podium in this league so i'm trying to keep that run going as much as i can but lva brown is going very very slowly the pole sitter is going very slowly in these conditions because he did pit a lap before myself and pine and you can see my indicator is in the red on the bottom right hand side of the screen as he's going out completely out wide and i can confirm he has got the puncture that we have been talking about and that has promoted myself into the podium position so that just shows you how much on the limit it was with these intermediate tires but now pinecone is going very defensive and i see i felt like there was an opportunity here this is probably the closest i've been so far but again unless he makes a huge mistake going into the last corner so drs has actually been enabled now so the track is really really dry he goes in very very deep almost pushing him around this corner but we can't get close enough into the last corner so one more braking zone to go we go in a little bit deep we are not going to get the traction come off here and going across the line it is going to be syra who wins this race and then it's going to be myself oh sorry pinecone and then myself completing the podium and honestly that race i really couldn't have done anything i could have maybe got a better qualifying position if i had the better sector one but in the race 
I think we were patient and we just drove well. We didn't really make any mistakes. And yeah, in this level of competition, I was, I was pretty happy, but I don't think I really could have improved my race result from there. There was really nothing I could have done because it's just so, so hard to overtake around here. GG to Syra and Pinecone, the top two in the championship. I'm actually P3 in this championship now. There is still a very, very long season to go. And yeah, if we can just improve in some aspects, um, get a bit more fortune in some aspects as well. Like if we got points at Australia and last race when I think we could have got a podium at China as well, then the championship is still well and truly on. Thank you so much for the support on my streams and my channel as usual. Thank you so much. I'll catch you soon. Peace.